Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today Romans 7, verse 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, You shall not covet. The laws of God define sin. That's something to keep in mind. The laws of God define sin. Meaning, God spells it out in his word, right and wrong. Sin, not sin. Doesn't matter what society says. Doesn't matter what the majority says. The majority does not rule. Doesn't matter what's acceptable today. The laws of God, the word of God, define sin. And it is a good thing. Not sin, but God's word, God's law is a good thing because it does define sin, which makes people feel guilty if it's proclaimed clearly without watering it down, which in some cases means that at least some people will feel guilt, will feel desperation before God, and will seek the Savior, Jesus Christ, the only way to heaven, the only way to be forgiven. So the law is a good thing. It does its job when man proclaims it clearly without watering it down. They treat seven and eight together. But what shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid, nay, I had not known sin, but by the law, for I had not known lust, except, and that's just one example, except the law had said, you shall not covet. But sin, taken occasion by the commandment, worked in me all manner of covetousness, for without the law, sin was dead. There, If there's no law of God, then no one can break it. And if no one breaks God's law, then there would be no sin. Verse 9. For I was alive apart from the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. Paul thought that he was doing pretty well spiritually. He's speaking as far as he's concerned. When he says, I was alive without the law once, before I really understood what the Bible said, I was alive, man, I was doing great. He thought. He thought he was doing very well spiritually before he became a Christian. Paul was proud of himself until he got a real clear look at the Word of God and God's law. Then he realized that he wasn't so good. In fact, he was spiritually dead because he wasn't keeping the law of God. He was in big trouble and he thought that he was just fine. If it wasn't for the word of God that showed him the truth, he would have died and went to hell. So sin came alive in his mind when he understood the law of God. Because the law of God defines sin. So important for us to proclaim the word of God clearly. 10. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. The law of God would bring life if people kept it perfectly, but people do not. Only one person has, Jesus. But instead, you see, people break God's law, which brings condemnation and damnation upon themselves rather than life. But if you accept the fact that you're in trouble with God and turn to Jesus and ask him to save your soul from hell, he'll do it. The law has done its job. If that's the case, study all of God's word with me at the Bible verse by verse dot com. Choose, click and listen from four complete series going on five going through the whole Bible verse by verse. And if you would like to be a part of scripture verse by verse, you can be by praying for me and for God's word. That makes you an immediate and very important part of this ministry. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at the Bible verse by verse dot com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse. So long.